Vince Ta was there on Tuesday as city crews started cleaning up East Hastings Street. Among the crowd of community members, police, fire crews, media and activists like himself, he wondered. Where's BC Housing? Where's David Eby, right? Minister, former Minister of Housing, future Premier. They're gone. And they haven't said a thing about what's going on out there. And I think that's quite damning. Since the fire order was issued on July 25th, few elected officials from the province or city have spoken to CBC about the decampment, aside from sending statements. Questions have been raised again and again. Where are tent residents expected to go without a housing plan? CBC News has asked the city of Vancouver repeatedly for interviews and those plans. Its media department has deferred the question to BC Housing. The provincial agency has only sent emailed statements that read in part, on short notice, we do not have access to large numbers of new spaces in Vancouver to accommodate the timing of the emergency order. A BC Housing vice president was finally slated for an interview today, but cancelled last minute. BC Housing falls under the purview of Murray Rankin, the housing minister. When we requested an interview with him this morning, we were told he was unavailable. But when I reached out to his media department through his other portfolio, Indigenous Relations, I was told he was busy, but he would be available for a phone interview in the afternoon. But by the afternoon, the minister's office had gone silent. And that's deeply problematic that we're dismantling people's homes without any place to go. We're just we're just changing and shifting the problem and in the process really undermining people's human dignity and human rights. BC's Human Rights Commissioner is among those demanding answers from officials. She sent the Housing Minister and Mayor Kennedy Stewart a formal letter with her concerns. She'll get to hear from the Mayor tomorrow. He's agreed to an interview on CBC Radio's The Early Edition. Leanne Young, CBC News, Vancouver.